to end on. So, as I mentioned previously on this show beforehand, I was legitimately a fan of the show. A fan of the show. I used to love the Friday Night Kid. I never used to miss an episode. So it'd be something I used to turn on a weekly basis. And it was really good because in the beginning, I think that most shows, and it happens all the time with podcasts, when people are scrappy and trying to make it and trying to figure stuff out, it's quite cool because you already had this parasocial relationship with them anyway because you listen to these people every single week they're inside your flipping head and you feel like you know them because they share personal details about their lives and stuff bloody blah 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 so when they're trying to make it in whatever industry they're trying to make it in you kind of feel like you kind of feel like um you kind of feel like that's one of your friends. You kind of feel like you're, you want, you, you really want to root for them so they can achieve it because you feel like if they make it, it kind of makes you feel kind of good because you are maybe backing and supporting them in the beginning sort of thing. It's strange, isn't it? It's very losery. It's clearly redacted. You probably should have any, you should probably should get real friends, myself included, but I was that kind of person and I really enjoyed what they're doing, especially when I used to watch from the Fox days and stuff, right? Evan the Beard days, MJ days, right? Used to love it. And then I don't know, something changed don't know what it was i can't pinpoint the time some people say it was when brendan decided to dye his hair it was when he was on e it was when maybe he started to book loads of shows and go on tour more than brian callen was in terms of doing stand-up comedy and there's a clear disparity in terms of the money they were making i'm not too sure i really don't know when the moment was when it turned but it definitely turned but this interaction between brendan and brian callen on the fire and the kid one of the earlier episodes they had back when they were on Fo i think this might be in fox days i'm pretty sure shows you how different the relationship is so i'm going to play both clips back to back i'm going to play this one and a clip from the recent show or, or show that's filmed recently and you'll see how different their relationship is in general so this is this is a clip from the old show and look at the difference Bro. The Slash. Bro. The rock star Slash. I want you to take it back right now. No, Slash would beat hey. the fuck out of you. Listen, man. You think you can beat up Slash? Listen to me. You, you don't insult me like that on my podcast. Now, take it back. Slash. Look at even how they're looking at each other, right? There's actual love and admiration in their eyes. And guess what they're also trying to do? They're trying to have a somewhat funny show they're trying to provide entertainment they're trying to make their guests or sorry their listeners laugh they're also cognitive and aware that some people watch the show without watching the video so they're trying to make it funny by speaking into the microphone by making it into a bit by maybe acting some of the stuff out this is clearly a different show than what we get today would play your, the guitar on your fucking hey, yellow teeth. Say, Brian, I'm sorry. He go. Yeah. You don't take it back. Ow, ow. If you don't fucking take it back. Ah, you will ah, fucking. Ah, I will fucking rape. I will choke your fucking stupid. Uh oh, he said. He said that word again. So not the best thing to end on, but you get what I mean in terms of there's clearly a bit of love there, clearly a bit of banter, admiration, but they clearly enjoy being in each other's company, right? Now, compare that little clip that you saw to this clip on a recent episode of the show where they awkwardly have a private conversation on air about why Brian can't do a Monday show because he's on he's traveling somewhere and it's a secret and it's just a weird conversation to have and you can clearly see they don't spend any time around each other outside of the show they do the show they record it they go their separate ways but whatever friendship whatever kinship they had prior where they were legitimately bra brother in arms is completely eroded this is how they talk now we did it again now i'm off to london now no um tell the audience why you're um leaving going to london to do i'm going to london to uh our boys in a movie i'm in a movie oh nice that's not the london thing but what's the london thing just vacation no no i'm doing a corporate gig and why do i feel like you're lying right now i'm not lying no, you're 100 you that's fine i don't care I don't care, but don't lie. I'm not You're not lying. doing corporate gigs. No, no, well, who in London was like, hey, will you fly from LA to London to a corporate gig? Yeah, yeah, but I'll it's tell a lie, though, right? I'll tell you you're making that up. No, and no, that's I'll tell you off camera. You told me it was a movie before, no, no, and now it's a movie. I'm doing gig. right after I get back. Doing a movie. <laughs> and which, and you're missing pod then? Just a podcast on Monday. The London thing is, you'll see why I tell you. It's not a big deal, but I have to go there. I mean, it's you a money, money gig. Yeah, tell me something else. Money gig. Okay, well. 
by the way, by the way, by the way, obviously they're not friends anymore. Clearly, you can see it from that clip. But look at this. Am I the only person that's, re that's noticing that Brian Callan is wearing a re wedding ring now? He never wore one before when he was married to the other lady, was he? Or is or am I bugging out? He's playing with it a lot. Like obviously, it's something that he doesn't wear often. I feel like it's like when somebody gets a gold tooth, they're always smiling and showing their teeth. He's kind of playing around with his ring a lot more than maybe he would if he was used to playing, wearing a ring. He's holding his hand up against his face and shit. But there's clearly something going on there, isn't it? Ra, what would you be pissed off if you were the ex-wife that he's now he's kind of wanting to be? obvious and out there that he's married and before that he wasn't he was doing that whole hollywood thing that they do where they all pretend like they're single so that it can increase their likability and the ability to maybe get jobs and shit and whatever nonsense they're telling themselves but regardless going back to this clip clearly these guys don't talk outside of the podcast they have this weird conversation in front of a camera that they probably shouldn't be having um or maybe it should be something that should be cut out of the show because it's not you know fun it's not funny and it's a bit weird and clunky and personal and maybe again like i said just illustrates that they're clearly not friends but you can see that there's definitely been a change in the relationship now it could be because somebody's been accused of the r word it could be because you know the other drama that's happened in general but you can clearly see that the relationship has deteriorated to this kind of point where they don't know where each other's going to be they don't know who's going to record why some person's not able to record they don't you know i mean they find stuff out last minute it's just very 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 strange i'm not really too sure what the deal is regarding but you know